Push, push, shab, shab. Come on, Thomas. The Fat Controller needs a special, special delivered. This is a busy day on Sador, and you're holding up the works. Streamlining. Go, Thomas, go. Unbelievable speed. Go, 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 go. Woo! Okay, let's go on a Thomas and Friends trip back in time. Back when the train sets played like Soda Island, back when they weren't roller coasters. This playset's called Busy Day on Soda. It comes with two motorized engines being Arthur and Thomas. Isn't that nice? I can see some rolling stock there, a couple of cows, water tower. Oh, all sorts of stuff, really. It is shouting to be played with, isn't it? The licensing info under the box is telling me 2010, but we may learn more once we get inside the box here. I picked this place up in Kmart Australia just as they were dumping a lot of the Trackmaster stock and I think it was, let's say, from the time I'm making this video about five years ago, maybe six years ago. Put it this way, if I see a big place like this for $60, you know what, I'm going to pick it up and I think it's going to be the most awesome playset once we get it out of box. It has taken me quite a few years to get round to looking at this place, but it's a bit like a wine, I dare say. With age comes maturity, doesn't it, hey? Wonderful to look at at the front. What makes it a bit peculiar is the fact we get two engines here. Now, back in the day, you were paying between $20 to $25 per engine in Australia. So straight away, you've got $40 worth of engine there. I only paid $60 for this playset, and that's why I picked it up. I knew it was good value. There is the back of the box read there. You can pause on that if you want. This box has been slightly water damaged. They had a flood here in March of 2017. In fact, we had two floods. And maybe it's time to get this beautiful playset out of the box and see how awesome it is. This playset's got elevated track. I'm sure I've got one of these bridges. I know I've got one of these tunnels. I don't know about that piece there. I know I haven't got the water tower here. And curiously to see Arthur there, and we go up here. I think I had the place at Arthur in the copper mine, but I think this piece here was in many, many play sets. And I'm pretty sure I don't have Farmer McCall's farm. Apart from not having the farm, I don't think I've got Ellsbridge Station either. Or maybe I do. I mean, you start to go crazy thinking what you have got and haven't got. On the edge of the box, it's worth looking at this because many people may not have seen these boxes. It looks like that. And then looking around at the flip side, and if I bring the camera down nice and slowly here, it looks like that, and it also looks like that. Before I come in and crack into this beautiful Thomas and Friends playset, maybe it's worthwhile having a bit of a Thomas and Friends history lesson. The busy day on Sador set resides in the Thomas and Friends toy history. It's around about here, 2010, whatever. You had Tommy Blue track up to 2006, and of course that's the classic track that looked like that. You had the Trackmaster Hit Toy Company track 2007, and it looked like that, but you had to be fairly cluey to understand what to look at to make any difference about it, and it was underneath. Somewhere it would say, Hit Toy Company, like that. Most people wouldn't know this piece of track versus what came after it. They looked identical. Uh, something happened to Hit Toy Company. I don't know exactly what happened there. Then Mattel Fisher-Price grabbed the brand. That's when Thomas became owned by Mattel, 2009. And you end up with this track here, and basically it just says Mattel underneath. Do we really need to see it? Well, there it is. Okay, we've done it. And really, the brand progressed on in quite a fine way. There was nothing wrong with that track. It talked to that track there. We were in, you know, a nice time with Thomas and Friends. And then along came Trackmaster 2, Fisher Price again, Mattel, 2014. And we were introduced to a track that looks like this. And apart from the track looking radically different, the play sets became different. The trains were very simplified from this point on. Oh, where do you start and stop talking about Trackmaster 2? But uh, really, if I bring up that older piece of track there, it's a bit like the difference between chalk and cheese, hey? And you could go one step further than that and bring up this one here. But in a very strange way, if I just push this aside, this system here had continued on in some countries. So I could add to this here, I could say, you know, Tony Blue Track, well really, it has progressed on, it just depends on what part of the world you're in. I know some people may be skeptical that the Tony Blue Track has continued on, I've actually got a little bit of proof here that Tony still do Thomas stuff, and in other countries around the world, the luckier ones than where I live, you can get beautiful trains like this. Let's take a look at the date on this. There's the licensing info there. I can see 2017 Galayne Thomas blah blah. I can also see the Hit Toy Company thing there as well. I'm getting confused now. 
I was going to keep this streamlining Thomas and Annie and Clarabel in box, uh, but sadly when it arrived to me via an eBay seller, it was damaged. I think it was damaged in post and I think there wasn't enough care taken in the way it was packaged up, but if I say any more, people start to get cranky. The first version of Trackmaster was Hit Toy Company and then it became Fisher Price. The way you can identify this is a number of ways. It's got this type of logo like that. Remember that one, that's the good one. The trains came in different styles of packaging, but this was one of my favourites because you also got a piece of track. That's something that I don't think I ever saw after this era. Maybe my audience will correct me there. <laughs> On the back it looks like that. I love the see-throughness of it because you could check both sides of your engine, couldn't you? you could, that's what people want to do. Very important thing to do. And we'll take a look up here at the licensing of this toy. There we go there, the glorious year of 2008. If only we could go back to that time. Well, as you can see, I've got the Percy of the Hit Toy Company in box, but if I had a Thomas of one of those in box, apparently they're worth a lot of money. Well, curiosity killed the cat, didn't it? I hopped onto eBay, I found a 2008 Hit Toy Company Thomas the Tank in box. $114 and something cents there in Australian dollars. Apparently this is fairly rare and hard to come by. My crikeys, it's expensive. How much would you pay for a hit toy company Thomas the Tank mint in box? I'd love to know. Uh, Fisher Price did all different types of packaging. I've just got a couple of examples so you can see how much I paid for that without saying it. There was ones like this. If only it came with a piece of track there. That was my only grumble with the way things changed. It often had artwork on the back like that, hey? I love the starter sets like this. My advice was always to go and get this uh, as a Thomas toy because then you got a circle of track as well. And they were $25 for me. And I remember when Trackmaster, the first version of it, was getting dumped, these fell down to about $15. It was a great value. You also had a starter set like this with the Trackmaster type, the Trackmaster 1 version, okay? Nice, isn't it, hey? Of course, the Fisher Price era, and then, well, things changed, didn't it? You went from something like that to something like this, and that was $30, and I think you were sort of getting more, or more bang for buck, but were you? I think the thing I could say is that, well, it got whittled down. Uh, the Thomas toys were whittled down to something a little bit different. Just looking back at my scribblings here, and there's something that I'm noticing about one style of these Trackmaster toys here, and it is the Hit Toy Company one. This is the one which is the one to collect, okay? This is the one which is increasing in value, and it's pulling big, big numbers online of people selling it. And they only had control for a couple of years. There's another thing that happened here which really started to affect the way children played with toys. And it actually happens in here, it happens in 2010. Do you remember what happened around that time? Yes, it's that item there, 2010. I call it the iPad Christmas. In there, it's an iPad, it could be a tablet of some other brand if you want it to be. This item here radically changed the way children spent their time. You could take this and go anywhere with it. And all of a sudden, playing with this was the great thing, with all the free apps and everything else, and playing with something like that, as grand as it is, was a little bit old-fashioned. I know as a video producer for YouTube, an item like this totally transformed the way people could watch my videos. I noticed the mobile device views that I could see on my data just went through the roof from 2010 onwards. But the toy company started to combat this, and maybe that explains what we see playsets like that when we take a look at Trackmaster 2 playsets at the time of me making this video. I don't think Thomas is that scared of a dynamite factory blowing up in his face. Maybe he's a little bit more scared of the fact children play with their iPads a little bit more than the playsets these days. So sure, the busy day on Sodor was ferreted away for far too many years. Nice to bring out in a rainy day like today. Some of the other Fisher-Price Trackmaster playsets that I've got downstairs, I'm sure I reviewed that one, but I've got one in box. I don't know why. That nice Percy Reptile blah blah there, these were $50 a pop in Australia, I dare say overseas they were half that price, in fact I'm sure of it. Who knows, they may have gone up in price online, don't buy Bitcoin, buy old Trackmaster I say, look at that one there, beautiful. Toys R Us was really the mecca to find these in Australia, I didn't really see them anywhere else because, well the other retailers were stripping out Thomas to be a one cell area as I've said so many times in other videos, that's a stunner that one there, looks beautiful doesn't it? And the playset that really divides the Thomas community is this one here. That's right. 
without making any more puns. Uh, the Shake Shake Bridge set had the Misty Island track, which I liked. It also had the bridge where Thomas would go crazy and fail. I actually ended up loving the set. And what was peculiar about this one here was they dumped, there were so many of these in store in Kmart, uh, they just dumped the price down to $20. So it was actually a great set to get because it was the same price as a Thomas the Tank if you were buying it back in that era. I think, in the strangest way, that's one of the, the classic sets. You may want to argue with me, but I think it's a fantastic one. Wow, it makes for a wonderful pancake stack of Thomas and Friends Trackmaster goodness. Wow, we, eh? I'll gently push this aside. Oops! Well, there goes the pristine packaging everything. I've got damaged boxes now. Oh no. Oh no, and Thomas has escaped his play set. Naughty Thomas, naughty! I know, I know. Some will ask, where's Fluffy? We haven't seen Fluffy. There she is, isn't she a stunner? Hey. She's helping me with the review in the quiet way behind me. It's a bit of a colder, rainy day today. But worry, Fluffy isn't feeling the cold. Look at her fur coat here. Got an amazing winter coat on here. And she's always got that beautiful, beautiful fluffy face, haven't you? Always look very nice. So we've had a bit of a Thomas history lesson. That derailed the video. We've taken a look at Fluffy. That derailed the video even further. I dare say you're asking, Leo, how much would this set be worth today? That is 2017 when I'm making this video. Mm, it's a ponderous question. The sad part for me is, as I may have shown and spoken about, this box has been damaged by water. You can see the watermark there, and I think possibly inside we'll see more water damage. Uh, for that fact, uh, I've just lost the box value in a sense. So, in a strange way, being damaged by water has made me come in and take a look at the toy and we can also have a, a trip back in time which we like doing look at that there that's the way it used to be nice isn't it there'd be some of my audience who would possibly be teenagers now and they would be having a little trip down memory lane looking at this i definitely do not have a piece like that now i've seen it the tunnel has been built it's nice isn't it hey looks like the constructions are hiding down there Yes, yeah, so I've got lots of pieces like this. There's bits of tape and stuff holding this here. There's the track there. Okay, uh, more track in the bag there. Some cows. Um, the bridge is nice. The stop go I can see there. That piece there. Yes. Wow. <laughs> and the rolling stock is here. Okay, look, back when rolling stock was a nice size. Look about getting grumpy. I've already done some cuts here and I can lift out the characters here. There's Arthur. Yay, and there's Thomas there. And I'll just have to try and work out how to get this out any further. Looks like I've got to do some cuts under here. And I will do that soon. And underneath this, wow, more of the glory uh, is revealed. There's more track there. That's why the box is so heavy, because it was <laughs> backloaded with track. Look at that there. That's nice, isn't it? Okay, and I will just reach down here and get the constructions. Hopefully they have not been affected by water. I've done some snipping underneath here and I'm trying to get rid of this plastic piece here. You can see I'm struggling, can't you? You're probably laughing at that. Come on, as you come. Oh. Why is it so hard? Well, now I'm ripping it. Oh, well, there goes my idea of the ghost Arthur. Okay, Arthur is free. And Arthur looks good, and he looks even better because for some reason he was always a four to the a white running board. And I never ever understood why he got it, and nobody else really got it. And we'll get Thomas out next. That's how I gently put Arthur down there for a moment. Oh, come on, Thomas. I need the chicken, don't I? That's the problem. That's why I'm struggling. <clears throat> Sometimes a couple of hits. <laughs> Without a pun there, because this isn't hit entertainment. Uh, that is the Thomas there. Wow, it's it's so nice, isn't it? Back when they look like this, without getting too ragey, hey? Guess curiously, let's take a look at the date. Okay, obviously looking at Thomas first, going up here, and we are going to see the date of 2009, okay? And we will go across to Arthur here. Hopefully we can see also 2009. Yes, we can. So seeing both these have got 2009 on them, I'm classifying these as what I call transition time engines. It's right at the time when Hit Toy Company had moved aside and Mattel had started to take the reins. Now, I don't know the difference between this Thomas here versus the Hit Toy Company Thomas. I can't do that study in this video. Mind you, I could pull it off as a separate video, couldn't I? 
Possibly my audience knows the difference between this and what preceded it. I don't think I have too many of those in my collection. That's just a sneaky feeling I've got. And just taking a quick look at the faces here, of course, that's Arthur there. You can have your five cents to say about that. And there's Thomas there, looking cheery as always. The playset comes with some really nice pieces of rolling stock now that I've had a bit of a close look, and I'll just squeeze these out of the bag if that's possible. Oh, it's going to get hung up, isn't it? Oh no, here we go. Okay, there's one, and here's the other one. I've got a fair bit of the Trackmaster Classic rolling stock, but I do not have a red truck like that which has got dropped down the side. Noticing the wood grain detailing inside, noticing the detailing on the sides as well. It's also the, back in the day when they were a full size, as I'll say. They're much longer versus the Trackmaster 2 that came along. We've got metal axles as well. 2009 underneath there. It is very nice. The other, <laughs> this next item is a cranker, I tell you, this one here. I have not got one of these. It's got like a tilt section like that okay and best of all it is a troublesome truck look at that one there hey very very nice indeed so there's a little thing there that goes like that and it just says troublesome in there wow and it's going to say 2009 somewhere in the flare hope you can see it well going by the four items that i've just pulled out of box there i'm giving this play set already 10 out of 10 i can't fault what i see here there'd be many more audience who would never have seen anything like this they'd be the younger people who watch my videos they're probably in shock seeing what's come out of that toy box and this is why people refer to the earlier version of Trackmaster as Trackmaster classic uh, to me when i look at this early mattel intervention toy I feel I can see a lot of the goodness that the Hit Toy Company had installed in this toy, but maybe it's best for my audience to have their say on what they see here. Well, there's no use getting teary-eyed or emotional about that. It's never going to come back. My advice is if you see it online at the right price, get it. Okay, and that's very simple advice. Uh, let me get the rest of this out of the table, very gently, of course. Right. Yeah, a lot of train stuff there, isn't there? Ah. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, that's, that's reminding me how good it used to be. You remember when I looked at my Trackmaster 2 playsets, and I talk about the useful things versus the not so useful things. I used to look at the side of the box. You remember that? And on the Trackmaster 2 playset, as grandiose and fun that looks like to play with, you don't get that many pieces of flat standard track. But it's a little bit of a different story when we take a look at what's going on here with the Trackmaster Classic set, A Busy Day on Sodor. On the table here, I'm going to use Thomas, Arthur and the trucks as a divide between the truck bits and the other bits of the playset. These bits are fantastic. There's some really, really nice pieces here. You know, nice bridge, a couple of cows. We all need cows in our lives. Of course, there was the tunnel. There are some steckle decals to apply. But as I traverse across here and take a look at the track parts, these are all flat track pieces. There's plenty of straights there. There's plenty of curves. There are points. There's even a nice stop go. You need that all the time. And there are a couple of parts that aren't flat now non-flat pieces of track is what you get a lot of in Trackmaster 2 I don't think I've had those pieces before on a playset okay but the most endearing aspect to this Trackmaster classic playset is look how much track there is there I know this is going to make an awesome train set taking a look at the construction scene noting they're in black and white uh, the Trackmaster 2 stuff reverts to color these days that's funny, my bridge was already built in box. This is a bit kooky, wasn't it? Um, building up bits and bobs of the place. As you can see, they how to build the bridge. Yes, McColl's farm, how to build that. The water tower piece there, which is lovely. How to play. We all need to learn how to play. Wow, there's lots of little things to do in this place that it's going to keep me and my son busy because I'm sure my son's going to love it. Over here, label positions and stuff. Um, the signal house, a few stickle deckles. A nice plan view of the layout there, really nice isn't it? And then here how to put your double A batteries into the toys because this is back when the toys had double A's and not triple A's. And most importantly and curiously, let's take a look at the date down there. And this is where the Thomas Mystery starts to kick in. I can see 2010 and 2012 Mattel. Well that's going to set the cat amongst the pigeons. 2012 there, the engines had 2009, the box had 2010. Well, I better use this to get that together. And I'm starting off by putting on the deckle deckles, and there we go. I put the windows on this little building here. It looks very train like, doesn't it? Hey, eh? that's what we like to see. And it didn't take too long to do, and it was a rather nice, uh, calming thing to do. I put all the stickles and steckle deckles on this now. 
It really does lift up these plastic pieces, doesn't it? And the farm here has got this sort of chute at the back here, and I think this is how they take a delivery. Bushka, yeah, a bale of hay has just shot through. Yes, uh, it uh, is a real reminder to me just how much it's changed. Next thing to do is look at this plan very carefully and get this beautiful playset together. I've just been installing the batteries in these toys. Thomas is a goer, he's okay. Arthur is playing a little bit plain hard to get and it reminded me of sometimes these toy trains, especially if they've been in storage for a long time, uh, tend not to want to work. I'll turn it on, you can see it's not wanting to work and sometimes the way to get them going is to give them a gentle tap. Sometimes. Oh, there we go. It does work and that was a little trick that uh, someone on YouTube taught me and it's a nice thing to know. Thank goodness for your YouTube audience to learn lots of stuff from them, I certainly do. And the very curious thing about this Thomas, and I'm starting to realise I don't think I've got too many of these, and I will show you inside. You notice something a bit different about that one, versus let's say a Tommy one. Hmm, look where the motor is. The motor is mid-motor. Now, it's going to have me go down very carefully and take a look at my Thomas collection. I don't think I have too many of that style. Maybe looking at them as a pair, the very strange mid-motored Thomas versus the more conventional of that style Arthur which had the motor in the back. Yes, it just reminded me of how Trackmaster 2 really simplified and dumbed everything down. I'm saying dumbed down in a nice way, of course. There's the busy down Sodor box, and if I pull back now, whew, yeah, 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 there it is down on the table. This is a totally awesome looking Thomas set. Just gently swivel around like this, it's all there. Now you don't need to be a rocket scientist to see that this is totally Thomas and Friends awesome. Uh, you do not see this in today's place, that's I can guarantee to you that. I'm very, very impressed with this. Uh, I think Thomas, before he gets going, needs a little bit of water there, so if I push this down, there he goes, guggle, 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 guggle. And as I do, there goes the water. And it's the sort of play that I know children love to do with toy trains. I know that Troublesome Truck has been giving tons of trouble. Push, push, come on, Thomas. The back of Holland has got a very special, special for us. Okay, Thomas, away you go. And that sets a point to go over the bridge. Go, Thomas, go. It's almost one of those play sets that's going to sell itself. I really don't need to say a thing, do I? Oh no, watch out Thomas, Arthur hasn't moved yet, oh the cows, the cows are on the deck and Thomas is giving Arthur a big shove there. Remember the power of these trains, I better give Arthur a go here and get his things back on track and Thomas is going to chase Arthur in a very, very mean way. Oh, looking extremely ugly but hey, that's all the fun of the fair when you're playing with your Thomas and Friends toys and we'll get Thomas back on track here. Go Thomas, go! That was very cruel, wasn't it? Those cows are going to have to be put back into... Oh, Thomas is nudging there. It's trying to get... Oh, the cow truck is stuck on the bridge. I know Thomas is a little bit faster than... Oh, Arthur's had a crash. Thomas is going to come on through. That's how children play. I know that's the way my son's going to play this place said, Hey, yeah. I know some people say, Oh, but Leo, don't do that to Arthur. He doesn't deserve it. Okay, let's set Arthur off. We'll give him a straight run there so he can go through the tunnel. There he goes, like a good Arthur, and Thomas has been set back up onto the top here. And who knows what's going to happen, maybe they're going to marry up somewhere on the playset, you just never know. Oh, Arthur's actually being really useful, look at that, he stopped at Farmer McColl's farm and he's going to take a load of hay. Watch out cows, you're in the way. Okay, so the cows come out and the hay goes in, yeah. Arthur can be set on his ways. Ooh, watch out, Arthur. Thomas is wearing up again behind you. That's always going to be dangerous stuff. And Thomas uh, is a little bit faster than Arthur. Cross that dangerous, dangerous bridge, and Arthur is streaming on through like a champion, coming through the tunnel here. Thomas is getting closer and closer and closer. Oh, yes. Thomas is nudging that truck there. Giving it the nudge, he's going to give us some troubles here on the incline, isn't he? Oh, yeah. Oh no, he's spaced back a bit again, he's coming up and kissing the truck, kissing the truck and Arthur scurries away there through the tunnel again, Arthur's doing his best to steam ahead of Thomas there but I got a funny, oh Thomas is still nudging, 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 come on Thomas you can give Arthur the shove there, he troubles the trucks and push you along come on Thomas, keep on moving you silly, silly Thomas I couldn't quite work out how to do a troublesome truck voice there from, oh nudge, nudge, wink, wink, Thomas come on, push Arthur off the tracks 
Come on, give him some trouble. You give him trouble before when those cows are in that wagon there. I'm not getting his face out again. Oh, it's very close. Arthur's actually uh, doing really well now. No surprise to some people, I dare say it's a surprise to me. And really, it's become equal. Stevens here, I'll set them on another way there. Okay, you go straight ahead and you go up to the Lover's Tunnel. Who knows what's going to happen in there. Okay, Arthur's weaving his way around the Trackmaster track there through the tunnel. Out they come, and of course this time round they're going to go under the bridge and there's going to be the stop go there. Do I set it this go again? Yes, I did. Oh, Thomas is, oh, Thomas has just nudged that wagon off and it's going to be trouble up at the tunnel if it continues like this. The hay is still hanging in there, I don't know how. Oh, here comes the pinch point, here comes the pinch point slam. Oh, my goodness me. I don't want to look in there at the moment. Rather nasty, isn't it, hey? Well, that's the reality of playing with trains. There's always winners and losers. Best way to save Arthur is just take the tunnel up here, get Arthur back on track. Uh oh, hey, uh, hay bales back here. Maybe Thomas can do something really useful now. And it's it's funny that actually they it's at speed of the classic Trackmaster. It's a tad slower than Trackmaster 2, but man, there is nothing wrong with it. Nothing at all. I'll set Thomas to stop here. I don't know why. And can he deliver something here? Or, oh, okay. I think it goes back the other way. Like that. Oh, there you go. Fumble fingers. He's just made a delivery. And he better be on his way because Arthur's about to come up and hit him in the back. And Arthur goes through. Oh, giving the nudge there to the troublesome truck. Arthur has caught up and he's doing his best there. Come on, Arthur. You can show us what you're made of. I'm sure of it. And it's often on the corners. Things start to go wrong. We're going to keep our eyes on the trains, aren't we? Watch out, Thomas, in the troublesome truck. Arthur is right on your tail. Ooh, just a bit of a gap developing there, but then he catches up again. You never know which way it's going to swing, do you? Hmm. I'll give Thomas the cow disadvantage here because they're a little bit weighty, and I might slow him up a tiny bit. You never know what's going to happen once you've got a cow as you load there. What about two cows, eh? Two cows in the troublesome truck, and that's going to give Arthur a bit of an advantage, I'm sure of it. And Arthur's going to come up and nudge, nudge and try and get rid of that troublesome and track that Thomas off the track so you never know. Thomas might get a second win and stream ahead and nothing's good. Oh, there's been a point. Oh, the <laughs> okay, the cows don't go under the bridge. That looks extremely ugly. I hope I haven't disturbed uh, <laughs> some people from seeing that. Okay, one cow's for oh, Arthur, Arthur, the <laughs> cow's falling over. Don't worry, uh, both cows are still alive, only just. And the battle continues on the playset. Thomas chugging along with his troublesome truck, which looks like a troublesome truck. Arthur doing his best to nudge it off the rails, but not really succeeding because they're sort of set at a bit of a speed equilibrium, which means they're sort of going the same speed. Not much is going to happen unless someone takes the disadvantage on one of the curves. It seems to be what happens. Something gets a bit caught up and boom. I'll change the points here, let Thomas and Arthur go over the bridge here, because second sometimes set the apple cart. Over they go, looking very, very nice. It's a sort of train set you just, you can't keep your eyes off the trains going around the track, and that's really where it's at. There's no roller coaster feel with this. It's got that lovely sound that these earlier Thomas toys had that we sort of lost with Trackmaster 2. And it is just a complete and utter joy to relive um, just how good it used to be. And I'll set the point straight again. I wonder, oh, I was going to try and sneak in and set after the other way, but I can't do that because they're still chasing each other. In a strange way, the stop go that's there, what you need one of these at the water tower. Because I'm trying to think, the only way to make Thomas refill at the water tower and after is to actually turn them off. And if I turn after off first and then Thomas, and back him up a bit, very dangerous to back up on the tray lines, you can then give... Thomas another fill of water. Glug, 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 glug. And it's absolutely important to fill steam engines with water or they get into lots of trouble. And I think it was a starter set for Trackmaster 2 that had a water tower, but it was nowhere near as awesome as this one here. Just look at this. It looks totally awesome, isn't it, hey? You just don't get pieces like that anymore. And I think what we can see in this playset is, uh, as we've seen, as soon as we got these critters out here, we're dealing with something really, really nice. Might be a nice play set to get my beautiful Tommy Streamline and Thomas of Annie and Clarabelle out with the damaged boxing, which I'm not going to keep because it's totally been fried. Okay, well, some nice foamy bits there. And uh, just very gently get this out of the box. 
I sort of think I always need a rubber chicken, don't I, hey? Oh, come on, out it comes. Oh, yeah. Oh, spanking. Well, I can even tell while it's still in bag, this thing looks Thomas totally awesome. I'll just gently get out of the bag. Come on, boys and girls. Come and play. The back of the box there it shows me some pictures, and there's obviously Japanese there and how to install the battery. My Japanese friends can have fun reading that. Uh, I can't vouch for the person who sold me this because it, it came damaged and I think it had insufficient packaging around this box. And I'm not, it just starts an argument if you start going there, doesn't it? There was also this here um, inside the box. There was another thing as well, but I think it might be something to do with the person who sold it to me. Uh, here is Clarabelle to start with. It is totally and utterly stunning to look at. Okay, there's the face there. This is, oh, it isn't a reminder of how good it used to be. Okay, the minced up, mashed up versions of these characters you get these days are just rubbish. I'm sorry Mr. Mattel for saying that, but they are. I've uh, unscrewed Thomas here already, and I'm actually curious whether he runs at a higher speed considering he is a streamlining Thomas. And this was like a dream sequence in The Great Race. I hope I got the right film there. Fantastic face, isn't it? Completely and utterly beautiful Thomas. Uh, and I cannot express that any further. And when you take a look inside here, look at the way this has been built. Uh, maybe Mr. Mattel can take a look at this. Hey, let's let's um, go back in time and let's just do stuff right again. Just beautiful. And I will get a battery into this. Uh, I think it's like that. Without doing an ad for those Costco batteries. <laughs> I'm going to turn it on and see how it runs now. I think that's running at a higher speed than normal. Oh, yeah. I'm sure that's faster, and I've actually just worked out uh, only from playing with the switch and not by reading the instructions because I can't read it. There's actually two speeds. If I knock it back one, we get back to the normal speed. My son is going to scream when he sees this. Uh, this is arguably one of the most beautiful Thomases I have in my collection. I can say that very easily, and I've got lots of them to look at, okay? I'll just get this lid back on and somehow screw it together. Gently, of course. It's the sort of train and beauty of it that just gives you total Thomas goosebumps. Total Thomas goosebumps, I can tell you. I'm just going to push forward that train. It's a reminder of the day back when you could push these trains without the gearbox going clunk clunk. The same with this one here. Now, sometimes children don't like to play with batteries. I like to just push them around like this. I'm just going to move Thomas and Arthur up here out of the way of the streamline and Thomas up here over the bridge and away. Set these points to straight again and just carefully bring Thomas back here and we'll set the streamline and Thomas on his way once I give him some water. Yes, even a streamlining Thomas needs water. Now, I've just had a look here. Uh, where is his water takes on this design? Hmm, oh, maybe somewhere there, maybe. That's it, Thomas. you got to fill up with water if you want to go really, really fast. Okay, Thomas is tanked up, no pun intended. And we're going to turn this streamlining Thomas on if any in Clarabelle are going to want to play. Go, wow. Go, Thomas, go. I don't know what to say. I've always got tears in my eyes. It's so beautiful and so, so fast, man. Go, Thomas, go! It is almost impossible to keep up with that very, very fast streamline and Thomas. Whoa. Streamlining! Thomas! P -p 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 -power. This streamlining Thomas is extremely fast. It is the ultimate Thomas of French eye candy, an absolute must have. I'm just going to set the stop go here. I wonder if it's going to capture the streamliner. Whoa, just went straight through it. Go, Thomas, go. Unbelievable speed. Go, 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 go. Woo! On the next time round, I'm just going to try and capture it and get it going at a slower speed. I have to be fast here. Okay, there we go. Hopefully, that's... <laughs> yes, it's a much more sedate speed, isn't it? That's more your normal speed. Will the stop go stop it? Yes, it does, at the slower speed. Well, time to, uh, let's have a bit of fun again, eh? It gets a bit dry, just look it off. <laughs> just taking a dive. Well, that just leaves going to be Thomas versus Thomas, isn't it, boys and girls? If, if Arthur doesn't want to play like that, there goes our, well, Trackmaster, how would you say it? 
Mattel Thomas there trundling along with his troublesome truck. And I better get the Tommy Streamline and Thomas there on at slower speed. And I'll be curious to see who catches up with who. And don't worry, Arthur's just having a rest there. I've got a sneaky suspicion the Streamliner, even at its slower speed setting, is catching up with that Mattel Thomas. You know, probably give the troublesome truck the big nudge. Oh, in the tunnel there. Oh, it's a tunnel of left. Boom, straight through. And the Streamliner on its slow speed has done well. It's not the impossible. We sort of semi expected that, didn't we? Streamlining Thomas does a victory lap there, and we'll get Thomas back on track here. And the Thompson truck, go! And we can ramp up the action because this Thomas here has got some super p -p -p power! And we're gonna set it to its high speed. Whoa, go Thomas, go! And very shortly, it's gonna come and do a smack down into that troublesome truck! It's all into the cave there! Oh no, the streamline is stuck! And that leaves our Mattel Thomas here, Trackmaster Classic 2, slammed in the back of Clarabelle! Oh, the streamline has just gone on the side there! That's the Thomas train wreck. Thomas is down. All Thomases, should I say plural, are down. Well, I'll come in and reset this train wreck here without Thomas. Uh, oh, come on, turn off. And this one here as well before I fall onto the deck and get damaged in a very un Thomas like way. Okay. I'll set the streamliner off again at maximum speed. Those little any cable want to play up on me. Go, go, go. And I'll also set off the Mattel Trackmaster Classic Thomas here, and very shortly, this is what's going to happen. Boom! Oh, and the Streamliner is off the tracks! And somehow the Mattel Thomas is trundling along there, They'll probably get caught up in this cave. Or maybe it's made it through, we'll just let this battle uh, play out and see what's going to happen here, and the Mattel Thomas is going to smack into there. Oh, the Streamliner is trying to fight on, but uh, I think the Tunnel of Love there is... Oh! Both Thomases are down, both Thomases are down. I get the streamliner back on track here. Whoa, go, go, go. Oh, I don't know if that, oh! I don't know if it was set, oh, they're back on. That's good news, isn't it? But I haven't got Thomas clear of the rails. Whoa, just through. Just on this next circuit, I will send it up over the bridge, hopefully. Whoa, there it goes. Ooh, a bit of a slowness going up the hill there and down. It looks so magical, doesn't it? Hey, so Thomas magical, you can't keep your eyes off it. I certainly can't. Go, Thomas, go. High speed, go. It's really deserving of a really, really big layout with lots of straight set. Let's put on a Trackmaster 2. I've got to really think what I say here. Uh, Devious Diesel and get it going. And let's just see. Well, that's meant to be fast, but guess what? Tommy Streamline and Thomas is faster. Whoa, well, give Diesel the big shove along there. I never expected that. Oh, whoa, my goodness me. Watch out. Watch out. And, oh, well, they've both come to a stop. I'm going to call that a draw, and I'll just get Devious Diesel on his way again with his explosive truck. And the miraculous streamline of Thomas. Uh, off it goes. Tony, Tony, Tony. And it won't take long to again catch up with Devious Diesel and his explosive wagon. Oh! Woof! Uh, yeah, that's weird because I've just remembered Trackmaster 2 gets caught up on this classic Trackmaster track. And Devious Diesel has won that, and if I pull back here, the streamline has derailed, okay? So it's got a bit of a habit to just jump on the rails. Okay, it's back on track again. It's going to catch up with Devious Diesel, I'm sure of it. And he gets stuck on the points. So just, oh my goodness me! Straight into the back of that explosive. Well, oh, just got stuck again at that same point. Well, how about that, hey? Okay, off it goes again. You can play like this for hours, boys and girls. Hours upon hours upon hours. Oh, Devious Diesel, watch out! Boof! <laughs> You're getting a bit of a push along, aren't you, by a miraculous... Streamliner! Oh, and guess who won that battle, boys and girls? You won't believe it. Devious Diesel is a victor, and we're going to take a look at what happened to Streamliner. As shocking as this looks, the Streamliner Thomas is laid over on her side and has lost that battle. I'll just come in and turn this miraculous machine off here. Totally and utterly stunning. I don't know how much these are going for now on eBay. I know I nearly missed out when I, well, 
The seller, the first one of sellers who were selling these, they ran out of stock, and I can sort of see why now because it's totally awesome. Now, here's a reminder of why Trackmaster 2 doesn't like to play a plastic Trackmaster track, and it gets caught up on the track pieces, and it's because we'll have a reminder here because it's got this stupid, really low point on it that the oh, earlier engines didn't have. I don't know why it's got that. It really is stupid. And diesel, poof, straight in the side of track. Oh, I don't know what I'm saying here. I forgot to clear the line there. Sorry, diesel. You can go on your way now. And maybe we'll just see diesel get caught here again. Yes, it's annoying, isn't it? Just very annoying. And let's be reminded, that's no fault of this track system. This is just a silly design, which really isn't backward compatible with what came before it. And it's Trackmaster 2. This is the troublesome one. It will not really want to play with the previous versions of the track. In particular, these ones, and I've heard there's lots and lots of trouble uh, with Tommy Track as well. And in pointing that out, that's fairly devious, isn't it, Diesel, hey? What do you reckon? Devious work indeed. Okay, I've restored some sanity onto the railway here. I think the next best thing to do is show my son this awesome Streamline and Thomas, and I'm sure he's going to have an interesting reaction for us. And I'll just cover it up with a singlet here so my son gets a big surprise. I've got something nice to show you, but you have to uncover it a little bit slowly for me. Come out to the table. Okay, just sit at the table here. Let me go to the other side. Okay, you can look at the table. Now, what I want you to do, very slowly, uncover that little thing there, and I'm going to watch your face. Oh my God. What do you think of that, eh? What do you, he's, run, he's running like mad. He's running crazy because he's seen an ultimate Thomas. Oh, yeah. What do you think of that one? Turn it on. And I'm going to see your face again, okay? Whoa. <laughs> what do you think of that one? It's actually really fast. It's extremely fast. It's uh, more than extremely fast. It's just super Thomas fast. And it's making that rattly sound because it's on Trackmaster Classic Track. The way it used to be. Apart from the super fast Thomas, what do you think of the playset that you see out in front of you there? What's your thoughts on that playset? I want to hear it from your little mouth. Go. It's actually really cool. cool. Say it again nice and loud. It's actually really cool. Thank you very much. And I'm just going to show my son this piece here. Because, yeah, it's his reaction on this one, okay? Okay, I'm going to show you a truck. It's in my hand here. Look at that. What do you think? It's actually really detailed. Ah, uh, let's hear that again. It's actually... Really detailed. So what would you prefer to have in your train set? Something that looks like this, or something that you see in today's Thomas Trains, the Trackmaster 2? Um, this thing. And yeah. also, the, also this thing too. Oh yes, that's a classic pickup, yeah. Well, my son uh, tends to tell uh, the truth, and I dare say my audience would say exactly the same. Okay, let's get Thomas going again. It's got two speeds. It has got two. He worked it out faster than me. Okay, there it goes. It's totally and utterly awesome. Very, very impressive. Okay, I'm just going to haul Thomas up here. Do you know how the captain, uh, whoa, okay, and turn him off. The switch is like a double whammy here. Okay, he's turned off. Let me get rid of the things that are part of the Busy Dower Sodor, and that's Devious Diesel and Streamliner. Woo! That you set up the station wrong. What because, have I done wrong? Because, do you know, in stations, like, they have, like. Well, show me. This thing? Yeah, well, where's it meant to go? Oh, sorry about that, boys and girls. The station bit goes there. Maybe it goes better on the other end. On the other because, end? Because it's got more windows. Oh, okay. There we go. Well, that's where that goes. I think that's look, the signal box. That's where they control everything. That's sort of like the fat controller's office there. So my son's starting to reset this railway in the way he likes, and he's going to start to play with it, which is what we all like to do. And the thing is very slow. Well, only because we've seen the awesome streamliner. Oh, it's on a stop. Go over there. You had better fix that. Oh, we're taking the RB. Okay, there we are. You're playing with it the way you should play. Okay, we've got a hey. You want to let it go? Yo. I was trying to get this playset without the streamliner on, but my son likes that train so much. 
he's went and grabbed it and uh, got it running again. Recently I did a review about that Trackmaster 2 playset there. The box is very similar to the Busy Day on Soda and the lights are throwing all sorts of wonkiness into the video here. And this was, well in Australia, a $100 playset uh, at its full price. Now I think this playset here would have been up around that price as well set at its full price. Uh, the audience can fill that in but I'm going to strip in this playset next to that playset there. Don't get me wrong, uh, my son absolutely loves this place that I can tell you. He spent a very long bit of time playing with this the other day. I think that Thomas needs your batteries actually. And over the cable bridge there, does all these little tricks and bits and bobs and captures things, okay? Like that. Great set, that one, the cable bridge, nice bit of jeopardy. You can play with that for hours and hours and hours. Very much a set of 2017. And my son has a lot of fun with that. It's going to do the cable bridge thing there. Wooshka, wooshka. Okay, you only get one character on that train set. As you can see, a few little tricks and things that can do, like that. Over the back there is the busy day on Sodor. And boy, is it a busy day. Remember, you get Thomas there. You've got a lot of little Sodor feel things to do on that railway there. You've also got Arthur, and he's up on the bit of track up there. My son's doing something over there with Thomas, gonna... <laughs> what's going on there? But it really comes back to uh, the Thomas of yesterday versus the Thomas of today, which is that playset right down there. And it looks like the Thomas of yesterday is going to crash and burn there, because that's the way children play. And my son just fixed the train wreck there, and I'm just over the other side now looking down on the table we're taking a look at the size of one playset there. It was only like five years ago when that was out versus that playset over there off in the distance there. And maybe here's a bit of the Ferris perspective. I'm sort of in between both playsets there and we can start to see the massive difference in scale between one versus the other. And my son can't keep his hands off that Thomas there which is going around at normal speed. He's actually got a train battle going on here. Uh, train battle is going to come up to Arthur now. Uh oh, high speed's going to kick in here for a second. Arthur, watch out. This is going to get very, very messy. Oh, the, well, it's a crash in the tunnel there. Both of them are down. There's the winner of the battle uh, coming along here. It's going to go smack and in his the... name is John Cena. Oh. Uh, that's, that's my precious um, streamliner, Thomas. There. Oh, look. That's my, my oh, uh, that's that's my precious little train. That one. You want to just try and treat it nice and gently, hey? We're gonna treat it. Look how fast compared to that fast. Yes, I know. It's See? totally awesome, isn't it? But but please, 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 not not nice and gentle with the streamliner. And I'm curious whether the streamliner will work on this playset here, which does the miraculous things like that. And many people said to me, this scrapyard playset has. Almost zero to do with the journey beyond Sodor. Well, thanks for telling me that. I didn't know. Maybe this could give Thomas a little help. Ugh. No, that's not going to get Thomas off. He's just failed himself there. It's a fun set to tinker with and reset. We're just going to go around it at low speed first. That might be the nice thing to do. Oh, that's oh the wrong God, speed. I said low speed. I know, that's, that's better. Okay, here we go. We're coming around. Uh oh. Uh oh, well, welcome to how, yeah, children can fix, oh, that looks awesome, doesn't it? Yeah, oh yeah, oh, has just made it around there at low speed, because there's no cog or anything to deliver, <laughs> what's going on here? And now, for fast speed, wait, yeah, I, I need to, I don't think it's got a I chance. Need, I need to turn it off. Yeah, reset, reset everything, reset, and this is going to be... The strangest train wreck you've ever seen. Mash up Tommy versus Trackmaster 2. Okay, he's going to set the high speed. High speed! Oh, oh well, he did it. Oh, he made it up. He made it up. Amazing. And. Dreamlining! Oh, yes, the cog went flying. It's actually working. Come on. Oh, we're doing a quick reset here. Very fast. It keeps you busy. Whoa, oh. he's down. Thomas is down. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, and the cogs are hitting as well. Dad, do you know Beyblade? Yes, what about I it? I could bring it to school and do that. <sighs> Beyblade. There you go. But sometimes uh, being a failure is absolutely epic. Okay, go Thomas, go. Streamlining, and he does get up the hill there, across the cable bridge. Whoa, he's down, Thomas, he's down. Dad, do you have two bits of straight track? It's meant to be two bits of straight track with three fingers. That's the trick, isn't it? Yes, I do. We're going to change this place, aren't we? Yeah. So what we're supposed to do is put um. We're going to put a straight here. here and also a straight here over here. So it would have a chance. Okay. Well, I can come along and steal pieces off this place in here. <laughs> yeah. And I've just been reminded that's one of those bits of track that isn't flat that I hate. So what I'm going to do is. Put a bit of blue tack on that cog there. This is going to be very rogue. And I'm going to use the cog to help hold up this bit of track. I hope that makes sense. So now this part here, Thomas comes down here. There's a little bit of a decline here and then down into the curve. And again, we're going to turn on the streamliner to full force. Oh, okay, maximum steam pressure. Go, go, Thomas, go. At his absolute maximum speed. Looking, oh, gets up there, doesn't it? Hey, he's crossed the cable bridge. Down the section here, yes, 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 success. So a little bit of an alteration there and some very rogue work of a cog. Love that cable bridge. Um, we get this place set to work with Tony, which is quite amazing. Quite, quite amazing. And then Mr. Mattel's gonna be very, very happy with me, I'm sure. Woo! Yeah, it's a sort of Thomas you just cannot keep your eyes up. It does struggle a bit up the hill there, but it can get through. Go Thomas, go, go, Trap Master 2, turn it together. Yeah, I like it, I like it a lot. Whoa! Yes, we like to reset bits if we can, and watch Thomas come across the cable bridge, and whoa! And crash! <laughs> Thomas is down, and my very precious Thomas is down. You want to come in and fix that, please, and look after my streamliner? Illuminati power. Oh, okay. Wow, it's totally awesome, isn't it? I've just elevated the feel of that place set completely. Just by adding that Tommy train on there, yeah. Maybe I could get a job at Mattel in toy design. What do you think? Watch out, there's a counter track! Oh, that was crazy. If I, if I can't keep my eyes off this, I'm sure children will do the same. <laughs> okay. Oh, and when I did the review about that scrapyard set, I actually said it was a pretty good set. Oh. <laughs> okay, 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 it's gone. It's going crazy. But really, the point of this video, without the craziness going on in the back there, was to remind ourselves of Trackmaster Classic, and I think... The busy day on Solo set was a perfect reminder and one we really needed to have. Streamlining! Streamlining! Something about cows and streamlining. Thomas is in there. <laughs> Something about cows and streamlining. Thomas's. Can't keep your eyes off it. Cows are getting killed left, right, and center. Junkyard station. <laughs> I'm probably helping the sales of all the classic stuff and some of the new stuff, that's what I'm hoping. Junkyard Station. I'll probably better leave this video Junkyard before I get into Station. any more trouble. And just look after the streamliner Thomas for me. Oh, he needs a helping hand there again. Oh, yeah. I'd hate to think he's getting scratched up with rough play. What I'll do is I'll try and get some slow motion of this super fast Thomas and um, from, well, that is if it doesn't get stuck like that, from here on, okay. Oh, 
come and go. Thomas is down. Thomas is down. Don't worry, Thomas. It's like that round here. Well, these will be the extra bits of the video you never see. This is just have us having fun with these trains. We've got the um, steamer, Thomas there, one of my son's favourites from a Trackmaster 2 set. And he's going to put the Trackmaster super, super fast Thomas there. Look at that there. All by itself without any incredible. And it goes even faster. And guess what, boys and girls? Wooshka! <laughs> Straight through it goes. Are you surprised at all? I'm not surprised. Look at it go. Totally and utterly stunning. And I think this streamlining's got the, like the cow catcher front thing, whatever it is, the streamlining bit makes it want to derail things. And I think we'll come around for a collision next circuit round. Head on collision on the corner. Wooshka. Oh, they're both down. Uh, Thomas isn't done. Thomas is a down. It's really, well, the ultimate Thomas fun. Although this one does get hung up a bit on the points. Oh, okay, it's on again. Oh, actually gets hung up on the steep. It, that's a surprising thing, but I'm not surprised. It can't. What? It's coming. Can anyone explain that? Okay, there's going to be something going to happen soon, I think. Uh oh, any it's moment. Here. It's happen. Boom! <laughs> Look at that. Okay, yeah, Trackmaster 2, eh? <laughs> hey, it just won! It just won! Miracles can happen! Not anymore! Oh. <laughs> oh no! No, don't let it fall! Don't let it fall, it's fresh. Oh, it's off on the run up there. There again. Notice how the tiny one just flies up there. Mind you, it's going super, super fast. My son's just changing the points there. We could play like this for hours upon hours upon hours, and it's going to catch up very shortly, very short. Oh, Wooshka! Wow, that's given Thomas a shove, isn't it? <laughs> That was expensive, boys and girls. Don't play like that. Uh, that was expensive. That's not the way you play with these toys. That's not the way you play. I know people will ask, Leo, how much did you pay for that wonderful Tomy streamlining Thomas? Totally awesome. Well, it came from Japan. I can't promote the seller because I wasn't happy with the way it was boxed up. Well, that was the problem. People selling toys, uh, special toys like this, need to put it inside a box. Uh, wraps of bubble wrap and brown paper and like little pieces of cardboard don't work. Boxes protect things in the post and that's what boxes are about. I'm pretty sure Amazon uh, box everything they send out in the post. They don't uh, play games with brown paper. I purchased the toy for US $25 because I live in Australia there's a currency exchange thing that bumps it up to let's say $30 and that changes all the time but then what really hits you on the head is the postage cost and it sort of then pushed the toy up to about $50 Australian. I nearly missed out on getting this when they first appeared they all disappeared off the sales places and then they reappeared and I think they're available again. But my advice is get them, uh, but shop around, the prices are all over the place.